obeisances in the Lord's feet of my spiritual master, Om Vishnu Bhar, the Shrota Sishna Bhakti Prabhupada, Keshav Goswami Bhar, and my Siksha Guru, Nittadida Pravishta Om Vishnu Bhar, the Shrota Sishna Bhakti Vedan Swami Bhar. In ancient time, about 5,000 years before, all the saintly persons, realized souls, rishis and muni were gathered in Nameshara. There were very, very that the Iron Age Kaljugi is coming. Everything will be upset. Well, they will give up their religion, ladies also, always divorce, so many problems will come. <coughs> so they were thinking, what to do? In the same time, Sudha Goswami, the disciple of Subhadeva, Sila Subhadeva Goswami. He came there and then very politely, humbly, they asked a question. Now iron is coming, so many problems will arise. If anyone will want to do bhajan, they cannot do. So many ethics, ethics will be in that time. So, we ask you, you are very qualified and learned person. You should say how our soul will be held. There was no question that I will be happy, my body will be happy. The question was, really, in this body, we are so, body is mortal. Today, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, it will be old and it will give up this body. So, you should tell us, how soul will be? Happy forever. And then Sukh Goswami became very happy and then began to answer the question. First of all, he did pranam to his Guru Dev, Srila Sukh Dev Goswami, Yang Pram Prajanta Manupetam Apeta Kritya. Dvaipaya no birahaka tarajuhavo putri titan maya teya tarvo bhine tam sarva bho taridayam munima. And then he, after doing pranam, he told, Really, the transcendental religion of whole universe all the light beings to do bhajan of Krishna and that bhajan will be selfless only to praise Supreme Lord Krishna. In other ways, it has been told by Srila Rupa Swami, Anna Vilasita Sunyam Gyan Karmadhyana Vritam Anukillena Krishna Anushilanam Bhakti Vrittama You should explain in brief. 